Welcome to my channel, my name is Sagi and this is my channel Kipsa and today I will be speaking about mental health and specifically about coping skills and uh, yeah, if you want to see more of mental health let me know, I decided a few months ago that I, stop, that I will stop recording videos about mental health but I think that mental health and faith go uh, very good together, go along, so I will put those kind of videos also. Besides, I left some mental health videos on my channel because I think they are important and helpful, so I thought I will record another one, and I promised you a coping skill video long, long, long time ago, and I'm sorry it took me so long, but finally I'm doing it, and I will be doing, uh, like, uh, more expanded videos if you want about coping skills today I will be just mainly explaining what those are and why we need them <clears throat> so I have my notes I will be reading from those in some way so yeah okay so um, a coping skill is a strategy a method a tactic you can say that person uses to deal with stress, stressful situations specifically. This may help a person face a situation, take action, and be flexible and persistent in solving problems. When we use coping skills, whether you are feeling lonely, nervous, sad, or angry, or you are feeling sick or bad. So one of coping skills are emotion focused. Right? When you are emotionally stressed. So emotion focused coping skills can help you deal with your feelings in a healthy way. Healthy coping strategies may soothe you, temporarily direct you, or help you tolerate your distress. Sometimes managing your stress well can help you feel better physically and physiolo physically and psychologically and impact your ability to perform your best. So, um, when I haven't been using coping skills or when you are depressed, you have got, you have to put more effort to at least start a coping skill. You know, it is good to first make plans, right? Well, doing a list is not so, uh, it's effortless, I guess. I think uh, from my own experience so doing a list of what to do like to-do list or other stuff or the list of coping skills what I like doing what can help me etc can be a coping skill also so if you don't turn out the video if you think that you are too tired too exhausted to do anything and you rather lay in bed. Listening to music is a coping skill also. So uh, we divide coping skills, like healthy coping skills, we have got four. First is establishing and maintaining boundaries. Second, practicing mindfulness and meditation, relaxation strategies or deep breathing. So second is practicing mindfulness and meditation, which equals relaxation strategies or deep breathing, right? You have this strategy that is called 555, and this is a coping skill, and it's about deep breathing. You can Google 555 coping skill, and it will like explain you what it is and what you have to do to apply it. Third is getting regular physical activity, even 50 minutes a day or 50 minutes three times a week is an activity. You can even go for a hike, 15 minute hike, and this is still an activity. You are moving, right? You are not laying in bed all the time. You can also there, I saw on uh, IG and Instagram, there are Pilates workouts that you can do in bed even, laying only with your legs and you can like 
stretch your muscles or something, right? And fourth, the last one is making to-do list and setting goals, right? This is effortless and it can bring positive emotions, positive feelings. So these were whole healthy coping skills and you have got five main types of coping skills. First is problem focused. And uh, in this video, I will give examples of coping skills. If you want me to expand more on this subject, let me know in the comments or on my email. I will put my email here and I'm sorry that I am reading, but this is like summer and I have got a lot of things to do in the garden. I am thinking I am applying for college, uh, like higher degree again. So I have got lots of my mind. So... I prepared for this video, but I haven't learned it like uh, my memory, on my memory, right? So sorry, I'm sorry for the rumble. So okay, problem focused. What are problem focused coping skills? And you can write them down. I will like try to write them also on the screen. And these are ask for support from a friend or a professional. Second, create a to do list. Third, engage in a problem solving. Fourth. Establish healthy boundaries. Five, walk away and leave the situation, which is very important and not always easy to do. The situation that is causing you stress. Six, work on, a man work on managing your time better. Seven, taking breaks for self-care, like pause and breathe, right? You can do this in your, like, break for from thinking even. You can do this in your bed. 8. Working a little every day on your problem. 9. Prioritize. 10. Start with the easiest problem first. 10. Challenge negative self-talk. And 11. Do not assume the worst. This is a coping skill and this is also needs work, right? Okay, so second type of Coping skills are emotion focused. So emotion focused coping skills is meditation. You can meditate even on Bible or by yoga. There are different types of meditation and all are uh, very helpful. Second, forgiveness, right? You can also take a notebook and write down a sentence. I forgive my mother or father for this and that. And this is what I will do to forgive them, right? Or just I forgive and leave it like on the desk and that you know you did something, right? But when you will think of a sentence, you can forget it. But when you write it down... You know that you did something. You have this achievement feeling. <clears throat> Third, seeking social support, right? With friends, family, professionals, uh, teachers. Next, keeping yourself busy. Six, journaling. Seven, mindfulness practice. And these are emotion focused again. Next, counseling. Cognitive dis distortions, next, reframing, next, positive thinking, and engaging in sport, and talking, therapy, right, there are lots of emotional focus if you have, if you have been emotionally hurt or stressed. The third type of coping skills is religious coping skill, and these are, I think, important, because I was surprised because you don't like much psychology or psychiatry with me or mental health with faith. But here it is and I found it uh, on the internet and I am very like satisfied and excited about it. So okay, religious coping skills. First, you can Google them to get a bigger explanation and write me down in the comments or on my email and I will do a video about any coping skill you want. And first religion coping skill is collaborative style. Next, ben benevolent re reappraisal of the stressor. Benevolent reappraisal of the stressor. Third, seeking spiritual support from God, like praying or going to a counselor, religious counselor. Fourth, clergy. 
five members of a spiritual club, right? Like charismatic club or else. Next, journaling, Thanksgiving, like. Thanksgiving for letters to God or prayers like things I need or even want like for me journaling it's not working when like a therapist say you need to journal because this and that and people say it helped them like a lot to fight problems and other stuff but it doesn't help for me so I figure out I will be writing letters to God or prayers things I need or Thanksgiving like um enumerating things I'm thankful for uh, or things I need and it helps me a lot, right? So I like um change journaling into letters to God which and it then it helped me but before it wasn't helping me at all in anything. So I also advise you journaling. Next, if you don't like to write, you can pray. Praying is good, very good. Like it helps me. Meditating on a word, the Bible, preaching or listening to preaching. Mainly listening to preaching. Okay, next type is meaning making coping skills. And this is personal growth, family bonds, spirituality, Valuing life, negative effect, impermanence. Next, lifestyle changes. Next, compassion. Next, release from suffering and reframing the way you view the stressor. Okay. <clears throat> and fifth, the last one is social support coping skills. And first thing, strategy, coping skill that you can do is informative, informational, right? Like take advice from someone. Next is emotional, nurturance. Next, esteem. Fourth, social network support, setting up a body system. Next, tangible support, like financial assistant. Next, companionship, sense of belonging, right? Next is therapy and next psychology and therapy and psychology is intangible, like personal advice, right? So these are all coping skills I have enumerated for you guys. If you need like a video about coping skills, like listening to music and me enumerating those coping skills for you guys, I can do that. Just write me on my email that is here and in my in the comments if you like let me know if it helped you if it was like informational or or anything so yeah i hope i helped i hope you all are healthy and well and safe and yes i will be saying goodbye now much love and many blessings